We'll try to do this in English, and if it doesn't work out, we'll just go back to Finnish language and pretend this never happened, okay? So yeah, uh, like I said on the last video about two months ago, um, I'm doing my exchange here in Seoul, and I also said that uh, I'll be making a lot of content, and now it's been like eight weeks I've been here, and not a single video on YouTube, so, yay! Don't mind me talking like this, okay? This is completely normal. This is the most normal way of speaking in Finland. I remember the first day I was supposed to leave to Seoul and it was quite stressful because the day I had my flight was also the day when I moved out of my apartment and packed my bags. And that's definitely something I don't recommend doing unless you hate yourself and want to make sure that you suffer as much as possible. And also I noticed that my bags were like over the limit for economy and the most reasonable thing to do in that case is of course uh, taking the business upgrade. And the flight it was quite relaxing, I have to say, after a stressful day of packing my bags and all that. I remember the first day when I came here, I felt so surreal, like now I'm actually here. And uh, yeah, so then I got a taxi to my Goshi one, which is basically an off-campus dormitory. At first I had a room from the university dormitories, but the problem was that I was supposed to share the room with some random person, and I've always lived by myself. I don't know, it might have been a nice experience, but luckily I managed to find another place just near the campus. So I'm living here with like 40 persons or something. I have my own room now, which is really nice, and my own bathroom. I'm not sure if you can say it's a room, but uh, it's more like a cave. Okay, here we go. Let's do a room tour. Here's the room. Uh, cannot see that much because it's really small. I'm trying my best, trust me. A lot of stuff here on the shelves. Especially this soap bubble gun is like the most important thing for your exchange. Remember that. Yeah, there's some camera gear and... Uh, yeah, I know it looks a bit messy, but whatever. There's not that much space. Here's the desk. Uh, not that spacious, some books, some candies from Finland. Also have my own fridge, which is quite nice. And here's where the magic happens. An 80 centimeter bed. Here's my closet, some clothes. Got these from Ikea, it's really useful. Especially if you have a small space. Here's some shoes and jackets and all that. And here's the toilet. It looks like this. Yay! Uh, this is actually pretty spacious, for real. And the only thing here I had to learn the hard way was that if I want to use the shower, you have to turn this knob. And it doesn't go back automatically. Then I opened the tap and forgot to turn the knob. And because of that, the water comes from here straight to my pillow, here. I guess I just like to get wet or something, I don't know. And here's the view from the bathroom as well. And I got this black tape to make sure that there's absolutely no light coming to my room. And yeah. Yeah, I think the biggest turnoff is the fact that I don't have a window. But I'm fine with it because I don't spend that much time in my cave. Actually, there are some rooms that have a window and some people even have a double bed. But I was so late with my reservation, so I didn't get to choose and I'm glad that I even have a room here. I was also thinking of booking my own studio apartment or an Airbnb at first. It would have been nice, but at the same time it might have been pretty lonely. And being lonely is something I already do back home, so it's nice to try some new things every once in a while, don't you think? Now that I'm here, there's always some people who are down to clown with me. I can just go to the kitchen and there might be people who want to go grab some dinner or grab some lunch or do something together. Actually, I spend most of my time with these people who are living in the same place as me. But yeah, how's the school then? I've liked the school so far. Like, the campus is huge and I love the buildings, love the architecture. During the first weeks we had this add and drop period, so there were no proper lectures. Instead we get to know about the courses, it was just like an introductory week. After the one week you get to choose if you want to keep those courses or change them to something else. Back home I study marketing, but here I've chosen to have some uh, data science. Then I have one programming class, that should be fairly easy because I've done some programming. Then I have uh, sociology. Sociology, soci... Se 
yes. Then I have uh, one course about Korean culture and history. That's really interesting actually. And I also have the Korean language class. But overall, I really like my school. I think the students are really proud of the fact that they are studying at KU. There's a lot of KU related merchandise and everybody's wearing their KU jackets. I actually have two jackets because I'm gonna make this thing my whole personality for the rest of the year. And for the exchange students, they have this Cuba system, which is like Korea University body assistant. So we all have our Cuba body. I think we have like eight groups for the exchange students. And every now and then there might be some kind of uh, social gatherings, such as uh, grabbing lunch or dinner with the Cuba group. And uh, But yeah, overall, love the university, good vibes. Now let's talk about something else. So how's the food here? Huh? I think a lot of people come to Korea just for the food, right? It's a lot of fried chicken, not that many vegetables, I have to say. If you're a vegetarian, you might have a bit tough time uh, adjusting and finding some food for yourself. It won't be impossible to be a vegetarian here, but uh, the food here relies heavily on meat products. I think an usual meal would be a fried chicken and beer. I think I've cooked here for like two or three times maybe, because it's just so convenient to grab some lunch or dinner. And it's also quite cheap. There's a lot of different grocery stores and I like the food markets, they are really cool. I think my favorite food here so far has been the traditional Korean uh, burrito bowl from a Mexican restaurant because it had some salad in it and that was quite fresh. I've been there for three times already. And I also love the Korean barbecue. It's so nice to cook your own food on the little grill on the table and uh, okay it's mainly meat but still it feels kind of fresh. Like there's some things I don't completely understand. Maybe it's just my student stupid western taste buds and I'm just an ignorant fool. They don't really use salt in food in general. We've tried some uh, sandwiches, could use some more salt. We tried some pizza, could use some more salt. Try some burgers, could be some more salt. For example, here's a little clip of us going to uh, this uh, burger place called Frank's. So here's our friend Mario. Tell, can you say, I'm Mario and this is Jackass? What? <laughs> we definitely need to go for round three at the Frank Burgers. It's gonna be really bad. As you might see, Mario's like suited up. I'm ready for the moment. What are your first uh, thoughts? <laughs> I'm sure I would love this place. Uh, it's gonna bring so many good memories and I was looking forward, I was dreaming about this moment for a month and a half now. It's, okay. it's crazy, it's crazy. <laughs> William, you've been to Frank's for two times already. Or was oh, it? Once. How would you How would you describe Frank's? Honestly, I'm excited to be back because there's no way it's as bad as we remember it because I remember it as the worst thing I've ever eaten but it's like a cheeseburger. A cheeseburger is always good so how is it? I don't it's not possible. Okay, so Mario, we're at the main street and uh, Frank is gonna be there I'm actually eventually. excited, a little bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie guys. Okay, here's the menu, here's the menu. There he is, there he is. So here's the first one, yeah. looks and good, but on the inside <laughs> might be something completely different. So what do you think of the price? They said not enough There's salt. There's no salt. Yeah. Let's cut to the chase. Have the burger now. Yes. <laughs> so, how 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 were the first um, impressions after this experience? It was an experience. It was an experience. That's for sure. Uh, I'm looking forward to not go again. If I be completely honest, the cheese was kind of bad. Uh, kind no. of bad is fucking understatement. Okay. It's the worst fucking cheese sauce in the fucking entire world. It's terrible. Never go to Frank's. I have no idea what they do with their cheese sauce, man. Guys, uh, should we go and get some proper burger then? <laughs> Put the fucking onion, man. The overall verdict is that. Like everything is there, ingredients are fresh, buns, like they are fresh as well. But it's the cheese sauce, what do they do with it? Where is it coming? And all the love to the, all the employees, like it's not your fault, it's the Frank's fault. Whoever the <laughs> Frank is, if you're Frank, I'm watching you. Please fix the burger, man. <laughs> there we go, this is a proper place. Let's go. Soon we'll enjoy. So here we have the Pockin' Onion Burger. Like, this is actually pretty damn good. This is not sponsored by Pockin' Onion. This is our <laughs> genuine thoughts. Please reach out to us, though. Are you regretting your life choices, Mario? Que cazzo, mi hermano? Nutri tutta. If you enjoy Frank's, 
I'm sorry for our ignorance. So, if you come into South Korea and you want to have some pizza or burgers, I'll just say that be prepared for an experience, because it might not be the same as back home. But yeah, like that was just um, that's just interesting. I'm not like complaining, and we found some nice places as well. So it depends on where you go. The expectations are high. That's pretty nice. Yeah, it had a sufficient amount of salt. There was not that much grease, not that much olive oil on it. That was the best pizza I've had so far after these weeks. I might have to pay a visit there again. And also when it comes to drinking, it's mainly beer and soju. I don't like the plain soju, like without any flavor, but the flavored sojus, they are dangerous because it feels like drinking soda. I was talking about the burgers and pizza here. We've also tried some wine. The first time I had wine here was at this uh, vegetarian place. The restaurant is called Plant and the food is really good. But we went there and we tried some wine. Wow, it's terrible. Very cold, not so tasty. My rose wine was warmer than my friend's red wine, which was like uh, ice cold. And usually it's the other way around, right? And then I've been willing to try wine all over again, just to be disappointed. Okay, I paid 26 euros for this one. Go for it and tell me how it tastes. Not my favorite. <laughs> the face though, the face though. <laughs> we are at the Tower right now. A bottle of wine, 100k in one. It should be good and... And it is good, because I already drank one glass, so... <laughs> So if you're willing to pay a lot of money for a bottle of wine and, uh, and a nice scenery, this is the place to be. Actually, we have found uh, some good places to drink wine and it's like, I don't know, five euros a glass. Usually if you want to have some good wine, you really need to pay a lot for it. But I'm fine with that because I've had a fair share of wine back home. And the drinking culture, at least here near the university, is quite amazing actually. This one time we went for a little uh, Sunday stroll and then suddenly we ended up in a bar and it was full of students having the best time of their lives. The people here really like to drink. And, like We went to this bar on a Sunday evening and then there was just people yelling. We've also been clubbing a little bit. We've been to Hongdae, which is the place to be if you're down to clown, if you want to go clubbing. But I had to say that I might prefer Itai one. I think the vibe is a bit more laid back or something. And also I would like to visit these peak easies, like hidden bars. I don't know if I got homesick or what, but during the first days we went to Ikea to grab some meatballs and buy some stuff for our goblin caves and uh, and then we also went to a karaoke like that's the most normal day in finland go to ikea go to karaoke get shit faced done we went to a cat cafe this one time to pet some cats they are not into you unless you have some food to give them but anyways and i've been also doing some shopping here especially at hongdae they have a lot of vintage stores the clothes are a bit expensive because they are like hand picked and all that for example this jacket is from a vintage store and i also have this red bull jacket the moment i saw it i was like you're coming home with me no matter what we've been also doing some sightseeing going to the namsan tower and spending all of our life savings to these claw machines that are definitely rigged Overall, there has been a lot of things to do and see, and uh, it might be a bit hard to wrap it all up in one video. Also been doing some uh, hiking. Okay, this is the first hike during the exchange. <laughs> but yeah, let's climb Bukhasa mountain. That was amazing. Definitely have to go there again, maybe. That was really cool. I can recommend. Now I'll just walk down and I deserve a beer right now. I want a beer. <laughs> okay, so that was a little bit of the things I've been doing here so far. Has there been any cultural shocks or some things that have been irritating me so far? Because I've been here for eight weeks, so there has to be something negative as well, right? Well, I think the biggest thing is the language barrier. Not that many people actually speak English. I've been learning to do some sign language, like I want to buy that and I buy with cash. Is it okay? And the second thing is that uh, I usually use Google Maps when I'm traveling. Well, good luck with that in South Korea. 
is not working at all. Instead, you have to use the Korean alternatives such as the neighbor maps or Kakao maps. And also, finding places is quite difficult if you don't know any Korean. Even though if you go to the restaurant and the name is in Roman letters, you still have to know how to write it in Korean. Okay, so for example, this cafe is called Useless Adult. So yeah, you won't find that place from neighbor maps with the same name. Instead, it's called Juju Rizu Adult. It might be a bit difficult if you don't know any Korean. And also the air quality here at Seoul is quite bad from time to time. For example, here's the current uh, air quality at Seoul. I should be wearing a mask right now, but... And the last thing I have in mind, it's not like irritating or anything, it's just something I've noticed. And it's the fact that people are really slow walkers here. Or then I'm just walking too fast, I don't know. And for example, if you're like walking towards someone, usually you just take a left or right, and then you walk past them. These people are like walking towards me, man. Apparently people don't know how to make way for other people. Just like they don't know how to make way for the ambulance. There's the ambulance and no one's making way for it. Completely normal behavior in South Korea. I think the biggest thing is the language barrier sometimes. For the past eight weeks, I've been managing pretty well here. Overall, I think the people here are really polite. Even though we might not have the same language to communicate, they are still really willing to help you. They want to help you and uh, make sure everything goes fine. It's been a really nice time here it feels like living in a bubble my recommendation is that if you have the option to go to exchange do it definitely and if it doesn't go well you can always go back home and cry you can do it that either way if you go or not you can still cry remember that thank you for watching this video and make sure to follow me on instagram and tiktok and you know how they say this one wise man once told me that even the worst day in exchange might still be better than the best day back home Actually, that was not a wise man, it was a random TikTok comment I read this one time. Get you guys on the next one. This is a basic one, and then we have this, and then we have uh, this. But this is my favorite.